Evening all, Stephen here, excuse me a second. Happy Friday evening. <clears throat> oh dear me, I'm not well. <laughs> I was in two minds whether to do this tonight. <clears throat> It had been my intention to do a video tonight and then I woke up this morning my arms were aching got a fever, a high temperature rasping, dry cough so just, the, just the right time to smoke a pipe <laughs> but I couldn't do a video without having a pipe in my mouth probably be the only one I smoked this evening Smoking the good old trusty Mr. Brog Amigo with some Germain's Rich Dark Flake in it. As I say, wasn't going to do a video, but had a beer, made me feel a little bit better. So I thought, why not? Let's go for it. Cheers. Good health. And the reason I'm doing a video is quite a rare one for me. You'll end up you've seen from the video title. It's a Yabbo. I think I've only ever done one Yabbo on my channel before. Yeah. It's a Yabbo from um, Greg, Waves of Java. You'll also know that from the title as well. Now I've mentioned in a previous video, uh, quite a few of you have very kindly in the past offered to send me stuff. And being the kind of person I am, I've always politely, I hope, um, declined the offer because I don't feel like, I, would, I, I wouldn't feel right accepting things if um, I'm not in a position to send anything out to anyone else or send anything back. And I say, I hope I'd always sort of politely explain myself. And I think, yeah, just about everybody accepted and understood that. There was no problem with that. And then, um, a few weeks back, I think someone actually took offence that um, I'd um, declined their offer. And it set me thinking, um, am I actually being rude? People have gone out of their way to make a very generous offer and um, am I actually being rude by declining for whatever reason I might have? Am I causing offence? And it was never my intention to cause offence. The dog's creeping around the bottom of the tripod so if things go a bit earthquakey in a moment you know what it is. But yeah. I worried that I was causing the fence. Um, so when Greg got in touch with me and we've exchanged a couple of messages and said he wanted to send me something, um, I explained the whole situation to him, um, but he said he'd still like to send me. And I've decided this, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not going to be rude. I don't wanna run the risk of causing offense. And so I said, Greg, you know, it's really kind of you. And he sent me a box. So, that's what we're doing tonight. A Yabo. Swiss Army knife. Always prepared. I'll put my pipe down. Good thing about this is it's a sitter. And we'll get stuck in. It's a big. <laughs> oh, like a hot knife through butter. The dog's trying to get in on the axe because he does like a box. 
don't you, boy? Safety first. We'll have to put those out of the way because Ziggy will be chewing those up into little bits all over the house. A bro note. With my very first ever bro note. I'll have a look at that in a moment. Oh, that's amazing. This is a genuine reaction. <laughs> well, those of you that, um, let's tell you, I've got this on by the way because it's cold. It's very cold here. Those of you that saw my, um, rather feeble acorn bombardment video the other week will understand will understand why Gregor sent me this I don't hold on. I, it will need adjusting but <laughs> how's about that Excuse me. <coughs> I haven't even looked at what's on. It's incredible. That's amazing. And my own personalised anti acorn safety device. I, I, <laughs> I'm knocked out with that. I can't believe it. And not only that, but in these uncertain times of terrorist incidents and whatever, every home should have one. Greg, that is absolutely incredible. You'd have to tell me, I mean, did you do the design on it? You know, it's, I'm really, really made up with that. I might even have to show my daughters, although they don't know about this channel. Um, but, uh, yeah, I've got to share this with someone. What do you think, boy? Hey, eh? He's got no taste. <laughs> Thank you very, very, very much. There's some more stuff in here. What's this? Don't look at this. What's this? Hey, Ziggy, what's this? Doggy treats. The smell, love the smell of chocolate coming through there. How about that? All the way from America. Say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's growling. <laughs> Dried chicory root to support digestion. Well, hopefully they'll stop you farting as well, which would be a Bloody a huge advance for mankind. That's great, Greg. Oh, look. <laughs> Zig's got his own little costume. I've definitely got to show my girls that. They will be knocked out by it. Drinking buddy. Yes. He's looking at me like I'm a lunatic. Amazing. How long have we got? Sorry, this is going on such a long while, but I've, I'm sort of... Very stout bag. I think I've got a good idea what this might be, Greg.
It's the near legendary Java. Very interesting looking tobacco. Fruity. I'm a bit bunged up at the moment, so it's not the best idea for me to be sniffing something. Ooh. Smells delish. Unless I'm carried off in the night, I shall do a video tomorrow with me smoking a bowl of java. That's amazing. I think this, this stuff is, I take my hat off, I, I take my helmet off to you, Greg. <laughs> oh, wow. I don't know what you're thanking me for, mate. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just some silly old bugger that sits here and rambles in front of the the video in front of the camera. I'm not going to read that, I'm going to read that in a moment, especially once I've got my reading glasses on, but from the little bit I've read, I'm very touched by it, Greg. Thank you very much indeed. I'm really knocked out. You've left me a bit speechless, to be honest. So I'm going to go away. I shall read that off camera. Well. I appreciate the comments below to let you know with me know whether it suits me or not. I think I cut quite a dash. <laughs> I'm going to light this up. <laughs> I'm going to raise a glass to you all, but especially to my friend Greg, Waves of Java. None of my reaction has been forced, mate. It's all been absolutely genuine. I'm really, really knocked out and touched for such a th over such a thoughtful thing to do. And I hope to sign in tomorrow and smoke a bowl of Java and let you know how I get on with that. Thank you. I'm lost for words almost. I'm going to have to go. <laughs> Thank you once again, Greg. And cheers all. Speak to you tomorrow, hopefully. Ta-da.